Yeah, you heard me before. It's Alicia, and I have your taste of DC tickets. I'll be looking for caller 107 at 945. Hey, so I know you missed me, right? Well, I've got breaking news. So, yeah. I'm broadcasting you from work. Okay, by the time this is posted, it probably won't be breaking news, but it's still pretty big news. Did you hear that the UK is gonna be having basically like their own version of Melody Festival? And today I'm gonna be talking about why it really doesn't matter that they're gonna be having this pre Eurovision preliminary TV show. They've pretty much been performing pretty badly on the Eurovision stage lately, which isn't completely their fault, I will say, is not completely their fault. Anybody, anyone, come one, come all. They are desperate for some type of points on the board. They, I don't even think that they're looking to win Eurovision. I just think they're hoping that maybe for once they'll be like, maybe top 10. Essentially, they're asking for anyone to submit a song. Um, not gonna lie, I was thinking about submitting a song myself and, you know, helping the UK out a little bit, you know. Seems like they need the help, so. Sorry, I just took a selfie break. It's officially fall, so I'm gonna put my hat on. Okay, we're gonna get down to business because I told you that I had some information for you. It's breaking news. The UK is going to be having, in their mind, the biggest song search ever. And guess what? I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you, BBC, but I don't think it's going to matter. And I'm going to tell you why. Number one, I don't think that it's going to make that big of a difference that the UK is deciding to do this song search because, unfortunately, the UK is a big five country. And you know what that means? You, yes, you, probably won't vote for them. I know. I know. You don't want to admit it. You don't want to accept the fact that you just have something against the big five countries, except for Italy, okay? And I'm gonna get to Italy later, so remember this conversation we're having right now, okay? For some reason, you guys just have it in for the poor, poor, poor UK. Well, they're not really poor, but you know what I'm saying. You guys just don't like them for some reason. So, you know, although I think the song contest search might be a pretty fun thing for all you UK um, Eurovision fans. Uh, I think the rest of Europe is gonna go, oh, good job. And then when you get to Eurovision, they're gonna be like, I'm voting for someone else. Sorry. Number two, this big song search doesn't really matter because guess what? You guys won't be sending Adele or Sam Smith. So it's not gonna make a difference. I'm sorry. It's just not gonna make a difference. I'm not even saying that any of those performers should be at Eurovision. And the reason why I don't think that some of those great performers should be at Eurovision is because y'all, yes you, all of you Eurovision fans and voters, still won't vote for them. I'm telling you, if they sent Sam Smith and Adele, I almost guarantee you, I mean, it won't happen, but I almost guarantee that you guys still won't give them any points. Y'all are tough. It ain't right. Okay, my third reason why I think this big, massive song search won't really make a difference is because I don't think that the UK should even host Eurovision. The UK already gets so many tourists. That's gonna be a lot of bodies. A lot of bodies. I don't know, I don't even really want the UK to win. It'll probably be really rainy, right? Ah, like it'll be cold too. I just don't even think that they really want to host Eurovision. I don't think Europe really wants them to host Eurovision. I mean, if you guys wanted them to host, you would give them more points, right? Yeah, probably. I'm not an expert or anything like that. Eurovision 2016, I see it. Yeah, I have my predictions. I shared my predictions with you. These next people, if they choose decent acts, I mean, we don't know really who they're or what their act is truly gonna bring, so we don't know that for sure yet. Here's the scoop. Come on closer. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. But shh, shh, shh. We can't tell anyone else, okay? So I'm gonna give you the scoop, but you have to promise that you'll keep it between us. Okay, you got it? Okay, so I'm thinking Italy. 
the Netherlands. Malta. Or Norway. I'm thinking those four. I think they could be hosting Eurovision next. And I have to really, really, really keep this a secret, okay? So don't tell anyone. I'm just going to tell you, okay? I'm only going to tell you. So just, you know, keep it between us. I don't know about you. I actually think Sweden might take it home again. We're not talking about any predictions of like who could actually win Eurovision next year. We're totally not talking about that, okay? All right, finally, my last reason. We're gonna keep it short and simple. I just don't think that this song contest thing is gonna amount to anything because remember, the UK did it before. Y'all remember what happened last time. I'm not even gonna put a clip of it on here because I won't subject you to that. But we know what happened the last time they did a whole little like show search, song search thing. Congrats UK on making it to the new millennium and trying something different to switch it up. You guys have been sucking real bad for Eurovision. And I, I applaud you for actually taking this seriously and saying, hey, we gotta switch something up. We gotta do something different. I applaud that. I applaud that. I respect you for that. Um. But unfortunately, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. And I still think we'll see you at the bottom of the Eurovision board in the end. Sorry. What do you think? Let me know your opinions. Talk to me in the comments below. It's Alicia Michelle. Follow me on Twitter, too. Talk to me on Twitter. I'm much more responsive if you hit me up on Twitter. So I'm going to put my Twitter information mm -hmm, right uh, there. Get my Twitter info right there. And yeah, are you ready for Eurovision 2016? I know I am. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.